HIV impacts me personally ever since, mostly since I moved to Fort Lauderdale about seven or eight years ago. I met a lot of acquaintances and peers and friends of mine that lived with HIV. And since then I started learning about it and talking with my, with my family, I found out I had a cousin who died of AIDS related illness back in 92 and I was too young to know. Ever since, it's just kind of taken, you know, close, close to home. HIV impacts me um, because I actually had an uncle that passed away uh, from uh, an opportunistic uh, infectious disease because he had AIDS. And he got it through um, uh, injecting needles because he was a drug addict. And I decided to do something about it. So I got educated and I started getting involved in the community to stop it. HIV impacts me because I'm a mother first, but I'm also a lover of all. And because of that, it makes me think of my family that has lost the fight to HIV. So I wanna make it my business to educate everyone that's around me. HIV impacts me in a lot of ways. Clearly, I work in the field, so I have to do a lot of work with it every day, whether it be testing somebody or, you know, just passing out information about safer sex, condoms, prevention, and I also have HIV myself, so I deal with it on a daily basis, making sure I eat right, I exercise right, and I keep a positive mindset so I can stay as healthy as possible. Well, I don't personally have any friends or family that have HIV, but I do see a lot of members in the community and here at the Pride Center that have HIV. And I see the struggles they go through on a daily basis, dealing with medications, dealing with learning how to be in the healthcare environment. Oftentimes in society, HIV is stigmatized. HIV impacts me, one, as a nurse. I've come into contact with many patients who have HIV and are dealing with it in their everyday lives and I've seen how it can impact them mentally and physically. And in terms of my personal life, I have friends who have HIV as well, and they talk about the stigma of living with HIV. I personally believe that HIV doesn't so much impact me, per se, as much as I make an impact on HIV. And by that, myself personally, I go to my medical appointments, I adhere to my meds, and I take care of myself, physically, mentally, spiritually, to just keep a balance and try to maintain myself as happy as I can be. 12 years ago, I became infected with HIV, and it was at that moment of shame, guilt that I felt because I knew better. I had lots, lost lots of friends during the 80s, during the AIDS epidemic. And it was at that point that I decided that if it could happen to me, it could happen to anyone. And I wanted to do something about that. And so several years later, I started my work here at the center. Well, HIV has impacted me personally for the last 15 years as, as an HIV positive individual. As a community leader, it has impacted me by many of my friends who are positive, uh, helping them guide them through the various different uh, processes of getting medication, getting uh, help, um, both physically and mentally.